three level roundabout interchange, otherwise known as the stackabout. I'm going to show you how to build it in City Skylines 2. But there's more. I'm not going to show you how to make one roundabout interchange, I'm going to show you how to build three. So let's get started. First part of the build will be the lower levels of the stackabout. As a bonus, it's going to give us two more variants of runabout exchange that are quick and easy solutions for lower traffic areas of your city, uh, and it will provide the building block for the full three level exchange. Start by using the level terrain tool to flatten the ground and draw a long stretch of straight highway. Use the parallel tool and use a gap of at least two. Raise the height at the side of the highway and count up to 10 contour lines. Switch to the level terrain tool, right click on the contour that you want, that will capture the height. Then left click and create a raised area on both sides of the highway. Give yourself plenty of room to work with and we'll tidy this up later. The good news is that this is a pretty easy build. Feel free to amend the ramp angles or the lengths any way you want. Uh, it's a fairly forgiving build so a lot of the time you don't need exact measurements or angles. That said, I will give you what I've used if you want to build along. Draw a road out of the highway at a 90 degree angle. This will be a marker. Now delete the section closest to the road. You should have one section left over on the right hand side. We'll use this section uh, for a marker for our circle and this is going to help to make sure that our roundabout pillars will be between the highway when we draw them in. Use the curve road tool, start by raising to a height of 10 metres. As the ground you're building along is already at a 10 metre height, we'll drop the road now down to 0 metres. Pull out to, along the guideline, I've used 115 metres which looks about right for an intersection of this size. Left 90 degrees, pull it out 115 metres. Perfect quarter circle, repeat the process three more times until you form a perfect circle all the way around. You will need to drop or raise the section 10 metres as required, as I'm showing you. At the start of the video, I promise you that I'll show you three roundabout interchanges. Um, this is going to be the first variant. If you're only looking for the first variant, you'll probably want to use a smaller radius uh, for the circle. Next we're going to mark where we want our slip roads to come in. Find the centre point of the circle, it doesn't have to be exact. Pull a straight road out to your desired length. I've used 300 metres here but you, again you can use whatever you want, whatever you like the look of. Uh, and just right click to deselect the road. All you need to do now is just join the two sides of the highway with a little uh, marker road. Repeat the same process on the other side. When you're doing the road coming in off the highway, upgrade your highway first. If you draw in an upgrade later, you'll get inconsistent results. Having a marker in place helps get in the same point. You know, used on both sides, it'll look symmetrical. Here, use the replace road tool. Upgrade to a three lane, one way highway. Have your snapping enabled. And just ensure that you have the extra lane on the outside of the highway. Now delete the markers. Use your slope tool to give a uniform slope from the highway up to the circle. So right click the high point of the circle, then left click and drag to the high point. Repeat that for all four highways. Using the curved road tool, we're going to pull straight out from the highway slip lane um, at your desired angle. Click once you hit the roundabout, drag it along as shown, about 15 to 30 metres or so, use what you like uh, and then just snap it in. As I say, use your own judgement here, whatever looks good to you guys, just crack on and do it. It doesn't really matter as long as you get it hooked in and the traffic's facing the correct way. Try and use the same angles and the same curves on all four ramps. Whatever you decide to use, try and make sure that you use them all the same. Um, it looks much better, it looks symmetrical and it's a much cleaner build. I'll draw some random roads in here to give you an idea of how it looks. Feel free to use whatever roads you want in whatever configuration. I'll use the softened terrain tool to smooth it out. And that's it, that's variant one done. 
Um, this would be suitable for lower traffic areas, maybe a rural area or a small settlement off the highway, something like that. On to the second variant. Delete your on-ramps. Use the replace tool and we're going to upgrade the highway um, slips to four lane one way. We're going to build the ramps the same way you did earlier. Uh, I pulled the inner ramps along the roundabout, about 15 metres, I wanted to keep it tight. Uh, and I've tried to keep the curve angles as tight as possible on the outside ramps as well. I've used a curve length here of 150 metres on the outside ramp. Again, use whatever you like the look of, but just be consistent so you're pulling it the same, um, the same lengths on each side. If you get issues drawing in from the main highway, flip it, pull in from the higher road and just make sure your traffic's going in the right direction. Um, and that's it, that's variant two. It's simply the first build with additional relief slip ramps. This will eliminate all the right turning traffic um, from your roundabout. Uh, if you have a variant one uh, in your city and it's struggling with traffic, maybe you've um, developed the area a bit more and you've expanded, this is a fairly straightforward and easy upgrade that you can do at any time. On to the main event now. We're going to convert this variant two into a full stack about. We need to partially delete the outside ramps and the higher arterial roads. Be careful, only delete what I'm deleting here guys. Here we want to raise the ground to 10 metres. Do the same on both sides. Get your highway parallel tool out and simply drag the highway over the roundabout. Don't worry about the angle, just eyeball this one. You might need to raise the level of the highway in the smallest amount, so 1.25 metres, uh, just to ensure it clears everything okay. Um, make a nice long straight highway section here. Now we're going to create the marker for the slip road. We're going to use the same technique that we've shown earlier. Again, I've used 300 metres on these. So we're going to upgrade to the four lane highway on each section of the raised highway after the marker. Again, make sure the additional lanes are on the outside. Use a slope tool to ensure a smooth path for the ramps. And again, do the same on all four corners. Now we want to keep the inside ramps tight using the curved road tool, about 10 degrees from the highway. Uh, make sure you're pulling it out from where I'm showing you here. Um, to make sure that um, it's going to pick up the correct slip lane. Uh, remember we have the outside ramps to do um, and I've dragged about 35 metres on the highway uh, for the curve here. Pull the outside ramp from the outside slip lane on the four lane section and connect to the ramps as I'm shown. Here's a tip. If you end up with sections on the ramp where it isn't smooth, we can redraw. Okay. Don't delete the full curve, just draw a couple of markers, delete the section in between the markers that looks janky, and you simply just use your normal uh, road curve tool, snap onto the guidelines, take out the markers, that'll fix it nice and smooth. Let's get some traffic going here, uh, I'll quickly hook up the roads. Have a look at how the traffic flows on this now. Given that it's not a free flowing interchange and the traffic coming off the highway has to give way on the roundabout, I'd be looking to use this junction at maybe a quieter spot on the highway network. 
Another alternative option to that incoming traffic is to replace the giveaway sign with traffic lights. Not sure how that would work out, but potentially could work well. Let me know how you get on if any of you try it out. If you've made it this far, feel free to drop a like, comment or even a follow. It doesn't cost you anything and it can really help with the algorithm and help my little channel get discovered. Uh, a big thank you to you. Thank you for choosing to spend your time watching my content. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks very much. If you want to check out more intersections, have a look at these.